My name is Jeremy Guaf. I'm the volunteer supervisor at Feeding Tampa Bay. Trinity Cafe is a program of Feeding Tampa Bay, and uh, I manage the volunteers every day. One day I was driving around with some friends, and uh, we, they, they were eating McDonald's in my car. And I remember there was a homeless guy just sleeping on the side of the street, and they just took the trash and threw it right at him out the window. So I, I had to pull my car over and talk to my friends and say, don't ever throw anything at someone just laying on the street. They're not garbage. Like, in fact, I probably know that person sitting right there. They're a human being. Don't ever do that again. As a society, compassion kind of gets lost as we have more technology. Just in life in general, I think we could all just stop and just listen to people. Because all of us like to talk, everyone wants to be heard. We're all on Instagram talking, talking, talking. But how much do we actually listen? So I think it's important to listen. I was there in a restaurant with my friend and before we could enter the restaurant we just saw someone approaching us and like you know we started talking with them and my friend felt very bad and uh, the conversation went a little deep and I gave the, this person a few dollars and my friend gave almost 20 to 30 dollars something like that. We were about to leave the restaurant and we were approaching the car and we saw this gentleman um, with having a Publix, uh, coming out of Publix and having six pack beer uh, he bought with the money we gave him so that made me think like you know and the discussion with me and my friend went a little longer after that like you know what we did was right or wrong like you know should we have addressed it by like you know helping him out in other ways to come out of the situation or just like you know helping him for that moment lost track and it turns out I looked for him for years I could never find him on Facebook I always thought we would reconnect and it turns out they ended up being schizophrenic and he lived on the streets of San Francisco and he ended up dying of a heroin overdose living on the streets after 15 years in my punk rock days we used to go to this diner in Atlanta and Will or, you know I was in my early 20s he was a teenager maybe I was still a teenager but he used to bring homeless guys to the diner with us and they'd sit and we'd buy him breakfast and that was my first interaction with homeless people so my friend Will really taught me the humanity of we can all just sit at a table together and share a meal. We don't know if that could be us tomorrow through circumstances that happen. You have to have a lot of compassion to really understand what brought people to that point. Some of it may be in our control, but some of it may not be. But what if we want somebody to help us if we're in that circumstances? There was a gentleman named Dickie Grimes all over Facebook, his sister up in North Carolina, Julie, was looking for him. Uh, she got a tip that he had been murdered, and she was flying down to comb the river to do the net in the Hillsborough River to look for her brother's body. Well, it just happens the day that she was flying down, the day her plane was landing, Nina, that runs the door, said, this guy's not dead. He eats in our cafe all the time. So he was there. He came in that day, and she's like, is this you in this picture? He's like, yeah, that's me. So it turns out, Dickie had passed away. He was eating in training cafe and sleeping on the bench at Rowlett Park. So he just didn't think anyone cared. He didn't know his family was looking for him. He was dealing with mental health issues. Uh, he had one bad thing after another, a chain of events that just led to him just going off the radar. So his sister, instead of coming to look for her brother's body, got to meet him at the airport that very day. It was so awesome to be able to reunite a family and to know that people are coming here to eat that wouldn't survive without the meal here. So I feel like, just in general, as human beings, we could be compassionate to sharing space on the earth with someone that might be less fortunate than us.